Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute where we're throwing strikes and getting likes today. Finally, a baseball game to talk about. Actually, two games. We're two games into the season already. Uh, we're one and one on the regular season. Uh, so we're going to throw some likes at you and get some strikes and talk about live actual baseball that actually happened. So this is the first time in a, a very long time we can actually talk about uh, live baseball and games that have happened. So I'm, I'm very glad to be back behind the microphone, behind the camera, talking about actual Brewer baseball and things that have happened so far. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, go down and like this video. Uh, if you want to get future notifications about my videos, you hit that little bell down there uh, and you will get notifications as soon as I post my videos. So, with that being said, we're going to talk about the Brewers' big victory today, 8-3 to over the Chicago Cubs. Uh, we had 11 hits compared to the Cubs' 6. Uh, 8 runs on 11 hits. 2 bombs. I mean, it was a good day. Uh, Benny Gamble with a big triple. Uh, Yelich with his first hit, which happened to be a home run. Just in time. I called it, actually, on Twitter on a Twitter post, um, I said in his next bat, he's going to break out. So it happened. Um, but Justin Smoke, Smoke Bomb, that was a monster, monster home run. It was good to finally see uh, the Brewers playing. And two days in a row, uh, now we got game three, the rubber match, 1-1. One, one. Uh, this is going to be an interesting year, and... I was actually having a conversation uh, with my wife earlier where we talked about it. And I said, you know, there is no like April, May grace period where, you know, they can play bad baseball and if they lose games. Uh, and this has been hugely talked about throughout the the media and everybody's talking about it. There's, there's no margin for error. There's no, even with expanded playoffs, there's no room for error. So they've got to play good baseball from the get-go. Uh, we've got a good lineup of guys, good rotation of guys. Uh, that's another thing I do want to talk about, the batting order. Um, you know, I think we always second guess and, and talk about Council's batting orders and things like that. I like how he built this one. Uh, I understand, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of confusion why you've got Kane at, in the 7 and 8 hole in two back-to-back -back days. Uh, I think that really showed today uh, with... You know, the progress and the momentum Kane made, you know, uh, coming out with three of four hits and getting on base and then causing the rundown, a classic Kane rundown uh, like we saw before against the Cubs. And it was just one of those things um, that made sense to me why Kane is down in the order. You've got, you know, Yelich and Hira, who are both very good hitters at the top of the order. But you, you also need to add your consistency down in the bottom. Uh, a lot of the rest of these guys are new or, you know, in Smoke's case, he's he's trying to, to form a comeback season. So I think it's very crucial that they they place guys in the, the right positions, uh, you know, especially trying to have a bounce back. Uh, just about everybody in the lineup hit with the exception of Orlando Arcia. Uh, so that's, but he had three for three night last night. So that's kind of, I mean, it's, it's early yet. So we don't know how this is all going to shape up. I predict by Monday or Tuesday, we're going to kind of, things are going to get a little more regular. Uh, like I said, there's a short time span and a short window of when and how this is, this is going to play out. You know, I, it's, it's just the nature of the beast with the 60 game season to shorten season. It's make it or break it time. And you play every day like you're playing in the, for the playoffs. So we're going to see how they handle that overall. Uh, if we go to the pitching, we talk about Burns. Burns looked all right today. You know, nosebleed complication, whatever it might have been. It could have been nerves. I'm sure there's a lot of different things that could have been. Heat. It's summer. Uh, he went 3.1. Two hits, one run, earned run, uh, six strikeouts, which I thought was pretty impressive for him. 
Suter did two point two and two thirds innings. He did give up a long ball, so two runs on his line. It happens. I'm not worried about the Raptor. He did come back and have a one two three inning. Uh, Williams got in a little bit of a jam, got himself out of it. There was a, there was some heart palpitations there, and then Yardley and uh, Phelps closed up shop. I mean that was. That was the saving grace there. Um, Cubs are a, a tough hitting team, and they're going to be tough to tough to deal with. I mean, pitching, yes and no. I mean, Hendricks looked great last night. The last night's game, I feel, was like getting out of the blocks, and you almost needed that struggle to have a good day today. And I think they've learned their their lessons. You know, on Hendricks, they were just swinging at everything, swinging early. And they really got behind a lot of times last night with with those. So I think going forward, we're going to be all right. I think it'll be fine. Um, I like what I see from this club already. Um, and we've still got a lot of talent just sitting there that we haven't really used um, yet. But it's council, so he'll play with the lineup. We'll see a lot of that going forward. I mean, yeah, there's some changes already today that moves move people around, Gamble got in, Braun sat, you know, so they've got a lot of flex with that, and I think we'll see how they how they work that over the schedule really quickly. Like I said, by Tuesday next week, we're going to know how, how they want to play things, and, you know, righty, lefty, whatever they're going to do, however he's going to line it up, we'll, we'll know more details. Uh, at this juncture, we're, we're in a tie with the Cubs, we're in a tie with, ooh, I don't even know the standings. Oh, I think we're tied with the Cubs and since Cincinnati's winning. Uh, the standings really don't matter at this point, guys. It's really not like, no, so I'm sorry. St. Louis is, is 2-0 uh, since he's tie, or since he's 1-0 because they haven't played yet today. We're tied with the Cubs and Pittsburgh is 0-2 kind of shaping out how they thought it would shape out but here's the other big thing guys we we just had expanded playoffs so first and second place are not going to make it in uh i think they're also going to put wild cards in i have not fully read everything about it because i just wasn't sure it was going to happen so now it has happened and i haven't had time to read it so we'll we'll talk about that in a future video maybe tomorrow i don't know we'll talk tomorrow after the game as always, guys, check out the Anchor Podcast uh, probably tomorrow sometime. There will be a new episode up on Anchor and a video version of said podcast now that I've figured out how to get that working. Um, go over to the Miller Park Minute and the Milwaukee Brewers on Facebook. Join the group. Join the conversation. Follow me on Twitter for a little more uncensored, raw, live game tweeting Uh Always good stuff. Always talking brewers, joining conversations. So check me out over there. As always, like, subscribe, and follow me everywhere, guys. Links are in the description below. So have a great day, and go brewers. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute.